this piece is called Silent Screen, just a very, very, very quick background on it. Um, I actually got as big of applause as did Ann Waldman the night that I read it. We both performed at the same event. Um, and it's dedicated to all the wonderful people we lost due to gentrification. It's entitled Silent Screens. All the porn houses are closed down now. Projectors stare blindly into the vacant theater like an empty gun with no more images left in the chamber as the film finally snapped from the pressure of those streets wiped clean of all memories of those who died just to keep it all together. Those faces have vanished into the silent screen. They are the marks that sit at lunch counters with coffee-stained napkins always waiting for the game of chance. All shows canceled, all young women who loved old and lonely men are gone now. With retirement plans and full benefits, they no longer know the neon signs that read private booths in back. There are no award shows for the naked theater, only a pass to the tombs. All the ideas have become too ordinary and accepted. Artists now live above the streets, no longer willing to dance through the metal doors of the psych wards where angelic ideas are born in sanitized halls. You don't have to t uh, show me where to go. I know the routine. I'll be here long after you're gone. The academies have castrated the word turning all meaning into a blue mist of barren winter on the written page. It's all advertising now. Dead images of beauty's final curse. The brown snow of these, <clears throat> of the east, I'm sorry, continues to whitewash the crime which the city was built upon. The Wall Street deals, the back room deals, the racetrack deals, the under the table deals the offshore deals, turning housing court into a collection agency where judges do the work of filing clerks. Do you know the stories that sit on the curb in garbage bags from rooms with eviction notices on SRO doors, working class doors, coffee house doors, tenement doors, and the doors of ghosts which no longer shatter under the pressure of putting on good performances in a booth on the other side of the glass. Now they perform under the Hudson Moon, just beyond the reach of old men who forever will feed $10 bills into slots and sit on plastic chairs, waiting for a show which will never begin. Only the, true wealthy, only the truly wealthy can afford to forget what is already buried in St. Luke's on Pottersfield or Fresh Kills Landfill of Staten Island. New York City once the ki um, I'm sorry. New York City once the kingdom of misfits now sits like an empty storefront with forensic sides pressed against the glass, or the last great porn star presenting herself to those lined up on the other side of the camera. Thank you. <laughs>